Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So we will be solving the problem number of provinces. So what does the question state? Given an undirected graph with V vertices, we say two vertices U and V belong to a single province. If there is a path from U to V or V to U by any means, your task is to find the number of provinces. So in short, the question is about finding the number of connected components. And you so you have already solved this problem using uh, the traversal techniques. But over here, we will be solving this using the disjoint set data structure. Why? Because we are learning this data structure. We have to understand this data structure in depth so that we can always solve the harder problems. Because if you don't understand the data structure in depth and you're not conceptually clear, then it will be very, very tough to solve harder problems. So basically what this state is, they'll be giving you a graph like this. And the graph will be represented by an adjacency matrix. Okay. Now, if you see that between one and two, there is one, which means there is an edge between one and two, or there is an edge between two and one. If you see there is an edge between two and three, you will see at two, three, there is a one, and at three, two, there is a one. So basically, everywhere there's one marked, it means there is an edge between those two, i and j, because this, if you say this is i and this is j, and if this is one, it means there's an edge between seven and six or six or seven, right? This is the meaning of the adjacency matrix. So you'll be given the adjacency matrix, which will be representing a graph. And you have to tell me the number of connected components. So if I ask you the number of connected components, this is one, this is two, this is three. So the prerequisite is definitely the disjoint set data structure. I've already taught you this in the previous video of this graph series. So go back watch it because if you do not watch it, I'll, it'll be very, very tough for you to understand it. So if you remember the disjoint set data structure, this component, when you attach everyone, it will be something like two will be pointing to one, three will also be pointing to one and one will be pointing to itself. Basically two's parent will be one, three's parent will be one and one will be uh, his parent himself. And similarly, four will be something like this and five will be pointing to him and four will be the ultimate parent. Similarly, can I say if I write six in the disjoint set data structure, we will be having something like this. So if I talk about the disjoint set data structure, if you try to attach one, two, then two, three, then four, five, then six, seven, you will end up with uh, these kind of structures. And what you need to do is very simple. Can I, can I say that there will be three bosses or three ultimate parents? If there are three components, because every component will have a boss, every component will have a boss. So if I say find ultimate parent of one, that will be one itself. If I say find ultimate parent of two, that will be one itself. If I say find ultimate parent of three, that will be one itself. So I get one, which means that's one of the bosses of one of the components. And then if I say find ultimate parent of four, it'll be four. Then if I say find ultimate parent of five, it'll be four itself. Again, four is a boss, correct? Then if I say find ultimate parent of six, it'll be six. Then if I say find ultimate parent of seven, it'll be seven, sorry, uh, six rather. So can I say, if I count the number of unique ultimate parents, count the number of unique ultimate parents, or can I simply say, if a node, if a node is the parent of himself, if a node is the ultimate parent of himself, that is the boss. So for one, the ultimate parent is one. For six, the ultimate parent is six. For four, the ultimate parent is four. So can I say for the guys whose ultimate parent is they themselves, they are the bosses and the number of bosses, if I can count that, that is what the number of provinces will be. So can I say in the disjoint set data structure, if I can simply write, if find ultimate parent of u is equal to equal to u, I can do a counter plus plus. And whereas you can go from one to n if it's a, if it's a one based indexing graph, can I say this? I definitely can. And at the end of the day, count will be my answer because the bosses is what I need because the number of bosses will always be equal to the number of connected components. Got it? So I hope you understood how to use the disjoint set data structure in order to solve this problem. So what I'll do is I'll code the C++ solution on the right and you can figure out the exact similar Java solution on the 
left for the Java people. So before starting the solution, let's take our template. This is our code snippet, just in case you haven't seen our previous videos. We have a union by size, union by rank, and a find your parent and everything initialized on the constructor. So it is a zero based indexing graph. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and at first uh, definitely take this class and create a constructor for same size so that everything is created. Now I'll iterate for the adjacency matrix, which is quite simple. And then I'll say, hey, listen, if the adjacency of IJ is equal to equal to one, which means that there is a edge between I and J. So I'll go and say DS dot. I can definitely take union by size or union by rank, which, whichever you wish to. I comma J. No need to do J comma I because that will be discarded in the future run. Because once they are connected, if in the future they are connected, it will just return. So once you've done this, you will have int count equal to zero, and you can go ahead and say, okay, int I equal to zero, I lesser than V, I plus plus, and you can say if yes if ds dot you can use the parent function ds dot find ultimate parent of i is equal to equal to i i can do a counter plus plus then i can just return a count a lot of people might think no need to go to recursion to find the ultimate parent we can use the parent array directly as well yes you can use it you have to just declare uh, these guys under this and once you have done this i think like you just need to make sure that ds dot parent I, that's it. This is this also makes sense because if in the parent, the ultimate parent is a parent is himself that will be stored. So you can just go ahead and compile this. You need to make sure that this is under public, otherwise it will not run. Okay, it's running fine. Let's quickly submit this and see. Find ultimate parent works. Uh, using the parent also works. Anything works because both of them are kind of constant time. Find parent is for alpha. This is why I'll be go of one. So I hope you've understood uh, this portion of code. It does submit correctly. This is n square and this is kind of b go of v and extra space is b go of n is like two n is what you're using. We can omit the union by rank. So guys, I hope you've understood how to implement uh, disjoint set data structure in order to solve this problem. So before wrapping up this video, there's a quick uh, request that I want to make. That's checking our statistics. Nearly fifty percent of our viewers. Do not subscribe to our channel. So please, please do consider subscribing to us because that does matter to me a lot and it helps me, like it keeps you motivated to make such kind of content. So yeah, if you have understood everything about this problem, make sure you hit that like button. If you have not checked out our DP series and the HD sheet, the links will be in the description. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's begin some other video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.